Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Today we're talking about the Madness Sorcerer, one of my favorite classes in the game. Let's jump right into it. For tertiary stats, you're going to be wanting getting 110% accuracy for PvE, and then as little accuracy as possible in PvP. Then for your L accuracy, you want to get it to like 7.2%, that should compensate for most of your lag issues, and then just dump the rest of your stats into critical. For our tactical, we want to get getting the Tempest of Road tactical first and foremost. It is going to give you free damage on your dots every time you do lightning strike or an warrior lightning, an warrior force lightning. It's free damage. It's really nice. It's about 20% of your overall damage. So get your Tempest of Road tactical first and foremost. Then you want to be spending those tech frags on the Gathering Storm package, which is going to give your next directive force attack 20% chance or 20% more damage after you use force speed. And it's going to give you 20% flat extra damage every time you're in polarity shift. This synergizes very well with the Unmatched H package, which is going to be our second legendary. Unmasked H is going to increase the duration of polarity shift by five seconds. So that's five extra seconds of 20% extra damage. Very, very nice. And it's going to mean that every time we use force speed, the cooldown of polarity shift is reduced by five seconds. They work really well together. It's a really good time. Let's talk quickly about your combat style. This is what I run for myself. I run Unrelenting Affliction, which means that every time that a death mark is consumed, there's a 5% chance that it won't be consumed. Very nice, and it synergizes well with one of the uh, pieces we take later here. There is an alternative build here that you can run, but we'll talk about that in a second. Personally, I run Cloud Mine in the next tree or next row. I like having the DCD. It's just more useful to me. If you want to do some crazy bursts, though, in PvP, you can take Plague Master, which will turn your shock into essentially an execute. It will finish all your dots in the target at once. So if you're going to be doing that PvP burst stuff, Hit Demolish and then hit Plague Master. You'll do a boatload of damage. In the next tree, I'm going to take Downfall. Downfall synergizes very well with the Unrelenting Affliction uh, buff here because it means that it might tick your death marks twice on the target, which is going to be very useful. And then there's a good chance that they're not going to be consumed at all. So very, very handy. Synergize those two together. Don't take it on its own. Only take Deathfall if you're taking Unrelenting Affliction. If you're doing heavy AOE, you can take Eternal Torment. It's okay. It's free AOE damage if there's a bunch of mobs in the area. So not too shabby. Um, and then Creeping End, we'll talk about that in an alternative build. Moving up the tree here, I personally take Corrupted Defense. The 15% DR is way more worth it to me than the uh, Critical Movement and or the Unrelenting Power. Unlimited, uh, unlimited Power. Unlimited power is for your healers, but not for us because we're selfish DPS, and that sounds like a healer issue, not an us issue. Moving up the line here, uh, force mobility is probably the most useful one here. If you don't take force mobility, you're going to be very, very stationary. So that's not what I like to play as. Uh, you can take lightning barrier if you can fluff off of it, but personally, it's just not worth it. I'd rather have the force mobility. Up the tree here, Surging Speed is the only choice. Surging Speed reduces the cooldown of Force Speed by five seconds, um, and it lasts a little bit longer. Additionally, Polarity Shifts gives you a little extra movement speed, but that redu reduction of Force Speed by five seconds is gonna be critical to our rotation. Up the line here, I personally take Phase Walk. I find it to be way more useful to me, but if you wanna take Whirlwind, if you're like a PvP or you're trying to CC targets, or if you're just leveling and you wanna get some CC out of the way, you can take Whirlwind. I personally just take Phase Walk though. And then finally, this is kind of dealer's choice up here. I take Immersion for PvP because it breaks a lot of the roots and there are roots everywhere in the game right now. Um, but it's not really useful for PvEers, neither is Conspiring Force. Uh, so PvEers, you're kind of stuck taking Corrupted Flesh. So, you know, a little extra DR against Dots was okay, but it's not really out of this world. The alternative uh, single target extra self heal build, uh, you can run Death Brand and Crippling, or I'm sorry, and Creeping End. Death Brand replaces your Death Field, but makes it single target and gives you a little extra leech. It parses about the same, but you lose that single, you lose that built in AOE of having Death Field. Um, it also gives you about 1k extra healing per second. So if your healers are struggling, you can take this, but it really shouldn't be necessary. It only use it on purely single target fights. I personally am still going to be taking the Downfall and Unrelenting Affliction. It does, frankly, more damage. If you need the healing, you can run the alternative build. I wouldn't recommend it, though. All right, 
Let's talk about the fun part, which is actually doing damage. We have three offensive cooldowns that we need to worry about here. The first is going to be polarity shift. Polarity shift, as we mentioned before, is gonna give you an extra flat 20% damage every time we hit it, but it does have a very long cooldown. It's also gonna give you 20% alacrity, so it's gonna make everything very, 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 very fast. It's a great GCD. You wanna be smashing it whenever it's off cooldown. Our second OCD, or offensive cooldown, is gonna be force speed. Force speed will give you an extra movement speed, and it's gonna increase the damage of your next ability by 20%. It's very, very useful. Smash it in a very particular spot in the rotation. We'll get to that in a second. Finally, Recklessness will increase the next, uh, it essentially gives you free crits. Um, it gives you extra 60% damage or percent chance to crit. We already have like 30 to 35% chance to crit anyway. So it's essentially free crits in your next two abilities. It's a great OCD. Just be mindful that these are your three primary offensive cooldowns. All right, let's do some damage. The, the rotation for Madness is broken down into three sections. The first section is gonna be the dot section. The second section is going to be the bonk section. And the final section is gonna be the section where I try not to fall asleep. Here's what we need to know first for the dot section. We have two instant cast dots. The first dot is going to be Creeping Terror. Creeping Terror does about 30,000 damage in the next 18 seconds. It's very, very nice. It also roots the target for two seconds. So if you're looking to root a target, you absolutely can using Creeping Terror. It's a good time. You want to use it first. Affliction uh, deals about 25,000 uh, damage in the course of 18 seconds. It's just a secondary dot. Nothing really to say here. So the opening is going to be Creeping Terror into Affliction. Now, we enter the bonk stage of the rotation. The bonk stage of the rotation starts with force speed because we want our death field to benefit from that 20% damage buff every single time. Death field is our hardest hitting ability, so we wanna be buffing at using force speed. So we go force speed into death field and then follow it up with a force leech. These are our two hardest hitting abilities. So we wanna be pairing them back to back. We also want to be using our Recklessness with these two abilities back to back. So whenever Recklessness is off cooldown, we want to be going Force Speed into Recklessness into Death Field and Force Leech. That way, both of our hardest hitting abilities benefit from that bonus crit chance. Now you're going to notice here that when we Death Field to the target, it received these, I'm oh, sorry, it's uh, baiting on me. It received these little stacks of Death Mark. What Deathmark does is it increases the damage of your periodic effects by 15%. And every time it's consumed or a dot takes on the target, the stack will go down. So you have 15 stacks of these death marks. We actually get a little bit more because of the um, because of unrelenting affliction here. So it's essentially just extra 50% damage to your dots on the target. It's a really good time. You want to be watching them as you do your damage. It's just free extra dot damage. It's really nice. So, so far, the rotation is Creeping Terror into Affliction. Those are the dots. Now into the Bonk section. So it's going to be Force Speed into Death Field into Force Leech. Here's where I try not to fall asleep. Because unfortunately, Tempest of Row does a boatload of damage whenever you use Force Lightning. Force Lightning ticks several times. It's going to be triggering our uh, Tempest of Row and making our Affliction do lots and lots and lots and lots of damage. So unfortunately, the end of the rotation looks like Lightning, 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 Demolish. Four Lightnings, then Demolish. That way you're going to be taking your Tempest Row as often as possible. And then finally we hit the target with our Demolish at the very end. So that way our Demolish can benefit from our Death Marks. So running this all through, we have Dot, Dot, Bonk. So Force Speed, Death Field, Force Leech, Force Lightning, Force Lightning, Force Lightning, Force Lightning, Demolish, Dot, Dot. Speed, Death, Leech, Lightning, Lightning. It's gonna break on me, Lightning. <laughs> lightning, Demolish, Dot, Dot, 
Bunk. Oh, sorry, I started entering. Leech, and then four lightnings. One, two, three, four, demolish. If you can nail that rotation and be doing that from the time you start to the time your fingers bleed, you will be doing perfectly acceptable damage on your Madness Sorcerer. There is one thing to note here. There's, I'm sorry, of course, there's a couple things to note here. When you're under polarity shift, the extra 20% alacrity will mess with this rotation because uh, if you just do four force lightnings and then demolish, your four speeds cooldown doesn't seem to be affected by alacrity, so it'll get all thrown off, which means that we need to do not four, but five lightnings every time we're under polarity. So that would look something like this, dot, dot, four speed, death field, leech, oh, polarity, one, two, three, four, five, demolish, and then to dot, dot, speed, death field, leech, one, two, three, four, demolish, and then back to the rotation. If you can nail this rotation, you're gonna be fine as madness, it's a really good time. Couple more things to note here. Uh, death field will dot spread to different targets. So if you have creeping terror and affliction on the target, uh, and you dot uh, and you hit the target, and it will spread your dots to everyone else, and it will apply death marks to everyone else. So it's essentially the only way in the game that we can spread our dots. Our DCDs consist primarily of our cloud mind. Cloud mind gives us a flat 25% damage reduction, which is very nice. Additionally, our static barrier will give us uh, a 25k absorb shield, which is okay in PvP, but in PvE, uh, you might get clapped for a lot more than that, so just be careful. Finally, we have our oh shoot button, which is our force barrier. Force barrier immobilizes you, means you can't do anything for the next eight seconds unless you break it, uh, but it makes you immune to damage. So if you're getting tunneled, or if you are in the process of getting completely smacked down by the boss, Use a force barrier, it's to be in for a good time. Additionally, we have our natural preservation. A natural preservation does not respect the global cooldown, so you can see here you can use it anytime you are in the middle of your rotation. It's not going to take up a spot in your rotation. So it's free self healing. You can help out your healers if you really, really want to. You can. Uh, Self-healing in terms of PvE should never happen, nor should off-healing. If you ever have to off-heal, yell at your healers. In PvP though, we have a couple of options here. We have Resurgence. Resurgence also gives us a little bit of armor, uh, but it's only like 4% extra DR, so it's not that great. And then finally, we have our Dark Heal. Dark Heal will heal you for about 15 to 30K, depending on if it crits or not, uh, but it will completely destroy your force here. You can see here, even after a few seconds of casting it, I'm now almost completely out of force. So that's the only time you should ever run into force problems with Madness. Let's run through this rotation one more time to make sure we understand what we're doing here. Remember, dots, bunk, fall asleep. Repeat. So, creeping terror, affliction, pop everything, down, death field, force leech, one, two, three, four, five, because we're in polarity shift, demolish, Dot, dot, bonk, leech, four, lightning, in, a row, fall asleep, dot, dot, bonk. Do this until your fingers bleed, you will be absolutely fine. That's all I got for Madness. If you guys have any questions, you can leave them down in the description below. Be happy to get back to you and enjoy spreading dots and let Madness release you, my friends. I'll be putting the balance guide in the comment section below. So if you made it through this entire thing or like, I play a Sage version of this, I have no idea what just happened. Look for it down there. I'll hit you up as soon as possible. So, oh, openers. I completely forgot. For the opener, we want to be pre-casting Demolish. This way we can go into immediately into demolish, into our dots, and then 
go right into our rotation. Uh, you want to be precasting demolish when the tank says, all right, pulling in three, two, one, start casting demolish because no one actually counts down seconds. So as soon as they start saying, all right, I'm pulling in three, two, one, you can go right into everything, pop all of your defensive cooldowns, and then just go right on ham, blowing up the target with madness damage. It's a good time. I hope you enjoy it. That's all I got at long last. So again, any questions, description. All right, that's all I have. I have no graceful way to end this. Goodbye, I suppose, until next time. Oh, and subscribe if you really want to. We're done, I'm not your mom, I don't know.